What's going on guys? So a lot of people ask me about losing fat and getting lean on a vegan diet, so that's what this video is going to be about. So let's kick things off. Firstly, note how I didn't say weight. Losing weight is a very broad term because it can cover anything from muscle to water to fat. Of course, we want to retain as much lean body mass as possible and strip down the body fat. So I'll be talking about how we can go about doing that shortly. So the fundamental principle of fat loss is a calorie deficit. What is a calorie deficit? A calorie deficit is over time consuming less calories than you expend. So over the course of a day, for instance, if you eat a certain amount of calories, you need to be burning more calories than you're eating in order to create that calorie deficit technically an energy deficit, but create that calorie deficit so we can lose body fat. Now for optimal muscle retention, we don't want to be dropping body fat too quickly. Personally, I wouldn't recommend going above a 500 calorie deficit per day. So that means if your maintenance calories, that's your calories required to maintain your weight is around 3000 calories, you don't want to be dropping below two and a half thousand calories per day. And that'll have you losing about a pound of body fat every week, which is a very maintainable rate. Now I know a lot of people are going to be asking me, well, how do I calculate my maintenance calorie intake? Well, as I mentioned before, bodybuilding is a very individual pursuit. So it's going to vary from person to person. There are some online calculators out there which help to estimate your maintenance calories, but they're not 100% accurate. For instance, if I consume the amount that these calculators suggest, I wouldn't lose any body fat because they simply overestimate the amount of calories that I burn. So what is the best way to work out your maintenance calories? Well, honestly, the answer is trial and error. For instance, if I set my calories at 2,500 per day and I monitor my weight over the course of a few weeks and I notice that perhaps I'm losing half a pound per week, if I up my calories to 2,700 per day and monitor my weight again and my, my weight is staying stable, then that's going to be my maintenance calories. It's going to be the amount of calories required for me to maintain a constant weight. So you've got to try out different calorie intakes and work out what level is required for you to maintain your weight and that is your maintenance calories. So once you've worked out your maintenance calories, you need to subtract 500 from that number and that will give you the number of calories per day to consume to lose fat at a maintainable rate. So we now know we need to create a calorie deficit in order to lose body fat, but how do we go about creating that deficit? Well, it can be done in two ways. Firstly, we can do it through manipulating our food intake. So we can reduce our food intake whilst keeping our activity levels the same and that will create the energy deficit that we need to lose body fat. Secondly, what we can do is keep our food intake the same but up our activity levels and that will create an energy deficit as well. Personally, I feel like a combination of these techniques is optimal. Increasing your daily activity by doing a ton of cardio will help create a calorie deficit but it will also hurt your recovery ability and training in the gym which is something we want to avoid. Of course, we want our training to stay as optimal as possible so cardio can't be too high that it starts to impact our performance in the weight room. So I would recommend cutting calories to create that deficit. Now that doesn't mean I recommend doing zero cardio. I think cardio is a great way to keep your heart healthy. Don't forget the heart is a muscle too. But it also becomes a necessary tool when you diet down into single digit body fat. Oh, and that's single digit body fat for guys, by the way, I wouldn't recommend going below 15% if you're a woman. And guys, don't go below 8% unless you're competing. Honestly, it's gonna to start to mess with your hormone levels and you're gonna see a decent six pack below 10% anyway. So 8% for guys, 15% for women if you wanna stay healthy. So that is the basic principle on how to lose body fat, but I understand in practice, it becomes a little bit more difficult to maintain a calorie deficit, especially as your hunger starts to set in and you start to get cravings too. So what do I think is the best way to stick to a calorie deficit? Well, firstly, what you need to do is choose foods which aren't too high in calories, but are nice and satisfying. Fortunately, most vegan foods fit this description, which is why it's so effortless to lose fat on a vegan diet. Your best bet is to choose foods which are nice and high in volume, but low in calories, so you don't go over your calorie levels for the day. Anything which helps to bulk out your meals whilst not being high in calories, things like lettuce, tomatoes, mushrooms, spinach, things like that, these sorts of fillers which don't add a whole load of calories, but they help you feel full and satisfied whilst maintaining a calorie deficit. By doing this, you can make sure you adhere to your fat loss program. And honestly, guys, this is the most important factor when it comes to fat loss, muscle building, anything. Adherence is key, consistency is key, and also make sure you're realistic with your goal setting because you're far more likely to be successful. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. That is the end of the video. If you found it helpful, please don't forget to give it a like. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.